You're watching Telecom TV from SDN NFE World Congress in The Hague. I'm joined now by Lynn Komp of Intel and Klaus Pedersen of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Klaus and Lynn, thank you both very much for joining us again today. So Lynn, earlier at the event here at The Hague, you keynoted and you talked about Intel's Select Solutions. Um, what exactly is Intel Select Solutions and how have you advanced this program? So the Intel Select Solutions is a portfolio of pre-integrated and pre-tested hardware and software together. Now there's a variety of capabilities. We have some for SQL and some for vSAN, but the one that we in particular announced today was the NFVI version of the Select Solutions with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So we're very excited to bring that kind of stability and predictability, since we found that a number of infrastructure providers were finding that versioning issues between the firmware or libraries, or even costly time to deployment was causing an issue for NFV deployment. And so it's one small step towards stability. It isn't the answer, which is why we work with companies like HPE, who really are doing that deployment and accelerating that speed. And Klaus, how is HPE supporting and delivering the solution? Yeah, so we have a um, configuration that matches up to the Intel specification for NFVI, and it's very much in line with what we do for our customers anyway. Since we are an integrator of technology, packaging it up as well-tested servers, qualified with the right operating systems, et cetera, that it is right along the lines of what we do for our customers anyway, to reduce time to market, time to revenue, take risk out of their projects, by making sure that the, all the componentry that otherwise can get very complex uh, doesn't hold them back in their trials or deployments. Now, we're hearing in the market at the moment, there's, there's a lot of interest around open compute, um, but what exactly are the carriers looking for in terms of open compute? Well, it's an interesting question because the operators, they want both the ability to have multiple vendors, they want to be able to keep up with the faster pace of innovation. So they would like to be able to use the best of breed technologies as soon as they're available and tested. Um, and then they would also like the ability to understand what's happening within that system a little bit deeper. So from that principle, it could be open in terms of standards-based interfaces. Some of them will talk about open source. There's multiple ways to solve that same problem. And Klaus, given these requirements from carriers, how is HPE delivering the required solutions for them? Well, I would say we really use the same principle as we've been doing for a number of years. We've taken the innovation curve and the economics from the enterprise market and made that available to the telecommunication sector. What's happening with open compute really come from tier one service providers, Facebooks and the like, that have been driving open compute as a, as a concept. And again, we are taking that making it available to carriers, but in a framework that makes sense in their business. Whereas Lynn said, it's really about a uniformity or homogeneity of the infrastructure, so you can bring down your operational cost and more rapidly introduce services. So we offer a range of servers uh, and storage, etc., that really from a logical, functional perspective represent itself uniformly up towards the software layers, but still offer different physical uh, capabilities as needed to, to manage services in the different parts of the network. So really aiming to deliver the best of open without the cost curve that it can come with by insourcing a lot of the features that otherwise you could end up uh, doing in a, in a carrier environment. And Lynn, if I can turn to Intel's Xeon scalable processors, how are you using these in solutions? How are they benefiting the industry at large? Well, a couple of the statistics that I cited today, these are real workloads uh, running by real customers. So Telefonica, for example, they tested the Xeon scalable processor in their virtual border network gateway, BNG, and they found 1.67 times the performance of the virtual router than the prior generation. And we also, at the launch in July, had at and John Donovan was on stage, and he talked about how they saw 30% better performance, and they needed 25% fewer servers, which translates directly into total cost of ownership, because then they can reinvest in new CapEx for delivering new services that generate new revenue. Because that's for the industry at large, but you know, are there also benefits specifically for NFVI? Yeah, absolutely. I think the you know, NFVI is just the infrastructure that runs the application that Lynn's talked about. So as we qualify servers with a new uh, infrastructure from Intel alongside other Intel components and components from other vendors in the industry, we obviously characterize that and bring to our customers insight into 
where to use what technologies. And, and yeah, the new Intel technology you know, on the processor side always brings a bit of a step function in terms of what can be done. This. Now, a final question, if I can. Um, a lot of people think of service as commodity products now, um, but the telecoms industry has specific requirements. So, commodity or more of a bespoke offering? No, I think, again, it's not a commodity if you want to get value out of it. Uh, what's unique to the telecommunications industry and what is the reason that the telecommunications industry, in my opinion, will continue to uh, deliver good profits is that they have a distributed infrastructure as opposed to some of their competitors today that work from centralized data centers. But a consequence of having a distributed infrastructure is you have to have technology you can deploy in all the different environments from the core of the network, the big data centers, out towards the edge of the network where temperature requirements and other things are different. Mm. And in delivering the right compute for the right workloads with different sophisticated accelerators for all those different environments, you're looking at very different packaging of that service and I would say that's not a commodity. That's a technological advancement that is necessary to make sure that that, when you then view it from the management of your network, all looks like one uniform distributed cloud and that's a hard problem to solve. And the computers, the servers, is a contributing factor to that and make that lower TCO possible. Of course, there are lots of other technologies, but if you go for a just plain old commodity, it's not going to deliver. Yeah, in fact, with the Intel Select uh, for Red Hat Enterprise Linux with HPE, one of the things that we found is that the versions of the software in that NFVI platform really is the difference between stability and predictable performance or not. And so the, one of the advantages we have in doing this together with HPE and with Red Hat is the fact that the service providers can look for the different configurations and the different packaging that's necessary, but at the same time there's predictability within the software load and, and within the environment that they're deploying. Lynn, Klaus, thank you both very much indeed. You're welcome, thank you.